Making a Murderer has brought the problem of false confessions by kids into the spotlight for the first time. But Brendan is not alone. Uh, I was a 17-year-old kid. I didn't have a care in the world at that time because I didn't do anything wrong. They asked me, did I know anything about a murder? And I, and I was telling them, no, I didn't. After hours of sitting in the police department, uh, I was told that I was going to die in jail. Uh, I was never going home. And they was telling me if I didn't tell them that they would make me the trigger man for the case. You know, they threatened me, said I would go to jail for the rest of my life. Uh, I spent 15 and a half years uh, in prison for a crime I did not commit. And I did 20 years and nine months for a double murder, a crime that I did not commit. These are forgotten children. The CWCY hasn't forgotten them, and we need to not forget the CWCY. When the CWCY got involved, I was like, somebody finally believed in us. I never gave up hope. When I stepped out of prison the first day, it was, it was a feeling that I can't even explain. Exuberant. We don't charge our clients. We do it all pro bono. It's with the gifts and generosity of people like you that we're able to keep going. Your support is gonna enable us to take more cases. And we can help those people get the justice that they deserve. They gave me a second chance at life. They gave me my life back.